Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I found this big cooker socket, uh, brushed stainless, I think. Let's check that. Magnet doesn't seem to touch it, so it's probably stainless steel. It's missing the light here, so I don't really want it. I don't want it anyways, but uh, I'm going to take it apart and see what I can do with it for scrap. So the first thing I'll do is take apart the obvious screws that'll come out. So you've got some little silver ones here, three or four of them. And I'm hoping there'll be bits of brass and copper in here. It's obviously the stainless plate off the front. I can feel this falling apart now, there we go. Okay, so you've got some big plastic switches. They're just rubbish, there's a bit of damage on that one. Don't know where that's come from actually. Oh yeah, it's the side of that switch, so that's a dud anyways, okay. Here, we've got to get this out, the earth bonder. Brass there, those, those rivets are brass. They should pop out now. There we go. That should snap out, so that's a piece of stainless there. What it's good for, I don't know. It's a bit of steel here with brass contacts and or brass terminals, I suppose you'd call them for. Get the big comfortable pliers on it. There we go, it just pulls off. I don't even know if I needed to drill that. There we go. These just pop out. So you could separate down that brass again. I don't know if I'm gonna bother. In fact, well one of the rivets has just popped out, so I might as well. There we go, they both popped out, so there's brass, two brass rivets, a bit of brass with copper. Where can I separate that even further? It's being silly here, really. I'm gonna hurt myself if things slide around like that. There we go, that's that copper off. Now there's a lot more brass and copper in here, as you can see. So, these are silver contacts, I presume. Unlikely to be platinum and there's little contacts on the smaller switch there as well But I would just throw them in my brass bin For recycling so I've got stainless steel 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 screws steel strip brass rivets copper oh, They're big chunks of brass those those pieces there. That's cool We've got these lights as well Bit more copper popped out there. Brass pieces. Let's see. What's holding me up here? Nothing, I think, is the answer. Oh, maybe it's just those wires. So those are the uh, neon neon lights. Uh, it could be these screws holding me up. There's one. Yeah, and that's that one, and this one. There we go, so that's plastic, plastic, I think that's phenolic plastic, I don't, I don't know much about it. Can I pull this off as well? Yeah, it should come off now. There we go. Well, that copper has the other side. A bit of silver plate on it. But really, it's just copper. You know, if you want to start recovering silver, you can. And at some point in time, that will be a lucrative business. There's a bit of brass there. Pull off this copper. So I would throw that into my copper scrap bucket. But it's... In reality, whether or not you think this 10 second process is worth it to get that tiny, tiny weight of copper out. Otherwise, you could just throw it all in with brass. I think it's hard to say what that is. Could be brass or copper. I'd say it's brass. 
Get a three big terminals. They're heavy. Four, four even. What am I talking about? Two in and two out. And then there's cables on the neon, but they're like really they're just tiny pieces of wire with um nickel plating or something on them. So there you go. What's in there? An ounce or two. What's it worth? It's worth its weight in pennies normally. That kind of value. But that's what's in there. Question your comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.